What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Deshaun checking in once again, and I'm back again with another video, man. Y'all already know how it go, man. If you're new to the channel, you're feeling the vibes, comment down below, hit the bell, and subscribe. Yes, sir. Okay, so today I got a real quick video for y'all, man. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to attach any trailer to any truck with the tow hitch. Now, for those of y'all, y'all newbies who don't know what that mean or what I'm talking about. Bro, this cat is jumping all on this freaking table. I'm finna punch him in the face. Do y'all hear the cat getting on my freaking... Now, you, you just ate, bro. Watch out. Watch out. Anyway, if y'all have a truck with a tow hitch on it, like this right here, just because you have a tow hitch does not mean it's going to pull every trailer. So I'm going to show y'all what I mean first, and then I'm going to show you guys how to make any trailer compatible with any truck that you choose to drive. All right, so let me hop up in the joint right here real quick. Like, big shout out to Pressure Game, my real deal, real life, in life car audio club. Y'all see me riding through the city. Y'all see this real big on the back of my window. Y'all know I got some pressure in that trunk. So don't even try me, bro. But anyway, so I'm back up on this joint right here and just show y'all I'm right on it. Nothing is happening. See that? So that lets me know, boom, this trailer is not compatible with this truck. So I can't even pull it to the car show. Let's try the sea hauler. And nothing. We got nothing. Ooh, shit. Damn. Uh, bro. What the f... Uh, bruh, you know how much this is going to cost to get fixed, bro? I just towed a bumper off my freaking charger, bro. Dang it. The rest of us still clean, though. That's crazy, bro. Anyway, we finna hop out the game real quick. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to make any trailer compatible with any truck with the tow hits. And then I'm gonna hop back in the game and show y'all that this truck can now pull both of those trailers, alright? So y'all hang tight. We finna hop out the game just for a quick sec. I'm gonna show y'all what it do. Then we coming right back in. Alright guys, we just jumped out of the game for a quick second. I'm going to show you guys how to make those trailers work with that car. So first thing we need to do is we need to come to our DLC packs folder, which is right here. Boom, 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 boom. Now, second thing we need to do, i tell you what. Let's open up DLC packs twice. And I'm going to tell y'all why. The reason why we're going to do it twice, we only going to work from one. But I need to see the names of these trailers. All right? So, I'm going to scroll down. I know one of them is the Sea Hauler right here. All right. I'm going to find a truck that I want to make these trailers compatible to. In this case, this is the truck I want to make these trailers compatible to. This joint right here. So, let's double click on here. When you see the DLC, you're going to click here. Now, if you don't see DLC, if you see anything other than DLC, you're going to right-click, hit Open With. You're going to scroll down. Let, let's just say Open IV is not right here. You only see, like, look for another app on your Microsoft Store. Go to More Apps. Look for another app on this PC. And then from here, you're going to go to Desktop. You see Desktop? Just find Open IV which would be here. You click on that and hit open. And then from there on out, anytime you open up a folder or anything like that, you will see this DLC. All right, so that's for all my newbies. Let's keep it rolling. All right. All right, so we're going to double click on this jank. Let that jank load on in there. All right, we are loaded, loaded. All right, so what we're going to do First things first, let's make sure we hit edit mode. Yes, of course. Now we're going to go to common. 
Now, sometimes you'll see all the stuff you need right here because we're looking for vehicle dot meta. Sometimes it's going to be right here as soon as you click into a uh, common. But in this case, if you see data or another photo, click on it. I don't see it right here. So let's keep on clicking. GTA 5. And boom, there it is. Vehicles dot meta or meta or tomato. All right. But just to show y'all. It is always, always, when you first come in here, you're going to see X64 and Common. Always go to Common. That's where your stuff going to be at. Might be here. Keep going. Don't see it here. Keep going. Keep going. And you will eventually find it. Now, if you just click in here and you find what you need, you're not going to be able to change nothing. So what you need to do is make sure you right click, not left click. Let's right click on it always hit edit mode all right now what we're looking for we're going to scroll down a little bit until we see trailers it's coming up right about now boom see that trailers now the only two trailers this is compatible with is the boat trailer which i don't even have i think i do have it somewhere in a 20 foot trailer that it comes with so how can we make those other trailers compatible i got you b all right this is where the second dlc pack comes in at uh c hauler right here so what we're gonna do is just like we do in the add-on car if it's one if it's none whatever it's gonna be trailers and then boom this is the end this is the beginning it's gonna go in the middle now what we're gonna do is i'm gonna highlight the bottom item line just like we do in the add-on car copy come to the end I'm gonna hit enter then I'm gonna hit paste now in this case I know I'm adding three trailers so I'm gonna hit enter again paste enter again and paste all right now it's time to add my trailers first one is the sea hauler so I'm gonna left click left click again right click copy now we're gonna keep that one we're gonna keep that one so let's go to the third joint highlight here and right click and paste now we change that one to see hollow let's keep it moving let's keep it moving uh e-hauler other one was the e-hauler so i'm gonna left click on that copy that name come here and right click paste and last but not least is the t-hauler all right, I wonder if they got a D holler or a C or a G holler or some shit like that. All right, let's get that joint. Right click, boom. All right, we just successfully added the C, the E, and the T holler to the list of trailers that this truck will be compatible to. So once you're done, make sure you hit save. And we finna jump back in the game so y'all hang tight we'll be right back all right guys we are back in the game son i hope y'all um grasped everything i told y'all and as y'all can see bro it's 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 too easy bro it's too easy but now i'm finna head on up the street and i'm finna show y'all that what we did just worked now the e-trailer or the e-hauler i decided not to put that in that's an enclosed trailer and i don't want that one i don't like that huge enclosed trailer so i decided not to even bring it out but i still got the c hauler right there and the t hauler right there these are the same two in the very beginning of the video we just tried to hook up to so i got rid of the charger that one was glitching and this one i tore the front bumper off but i put my dunks on here um so yeah man let's uh do this right before y'all eyes now y'all saw this last time back up slowly and boom see that just a quick name in the item line changes everything you feel me now i can pull this um the brakes does work you see i can back up and hit the brakes however the brake mod i gave y'all not too long ago only works for the vehicle 
Break, break mod does not work for the trailer for this one. Alright, so this trailer works. Now we're finna go back up the street and we're finna try the sea hauler. Come on, stand the trees all in the way. Come on, let's go now. Uh oh, don't, don't. Don't mess my donks up now. So we're gonna drop this one right here by holding right on the D pad. And last but not least, the sea hauler. Boom. There it is. So as y'all can see, man, this mod is extremely helpful to those doing RP. You want to do car shows or, or you know, whatever the case may be. Uh, this mod will definitely help you out, man. There's a, a lot of trailers out here that does not or, or is not compatible with a lot of trucks, but... If your truck has a tow hitch on it, good news, you can put any trailer on it that you can find. Alright? So let me take this back up the street. Now, right now, y'all, we sitting at 988 subscribers, y'all. 988. We got 12 more people. Alright? That's crazy. 12 more people, man. So, hey man, now it's crunch time. If you rock with your boy, you watch my channels, you get help from me in Discord, find somebody to sub to the channel. Let's go ahead and push this thing over a thousand subs tomorrow, today, whenever you're watching this video. If you rock with your boy, take the time out to grab somebody else's phone that's active. Don't make up an account because YouTube will take that right now. I just had somebody tell me, hey man. I'm going to make a couple of email addresses, and I'm going to sub your channel a bunch of times, bro, to try to get you there. Now, don't do that, bro, because YouTube will take it right back down, and I'm not trying to get no unwanted attention before I cross over to this, to this, you know what I'm saying, to the big lead. So, you rock with your boy. Get your boy to a 1,000 subs today. Today, son. Other than that, keep doing what y'all doing. Keep running them numbers up. That thousand sub giveaway is right around the corner, and not a single person has grabbed a t shirt and styled it. It's in my Discord under swag. Grab the shirt, swag it the most. Drop the picture in my Discord, hashtag swag, for a chance to win the cash prize on the thousand sub giveaway. I would love to keep that money, y'all. I would love to keep it. Y'all take my money, man. Stop playing. But anyway, I'm out, bro. I gotta go to bed. It's four o'clock in the morning. Hollow.